I'm excited to call up our star-studded celebrity opt-up influencer panel. Um, we have some really awesome folks that you're going to hear from today. So first we have Lori Taylor, the produce mom. We have Susie Monford, president of the QFC division. We have Darok. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He needs no title or introduction. And then we have Miss Debbie Matinopoulos, who's here with us today. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to start out by letting each one of our influencer panelists give a little bit of background about why they're here today. And I'll just say, we do have a, a wide range of folks, which I'm excited about, because I know that's going to mean some good dialogue and some exciting conversations. Also, I did not send any of them the questions, so they are going to be totally surprised. Rog has joined us. Here we go. We had, a, we had too much feminine energy on this stage. Thanks, oh Rog. <laughs> <sighs> awesome. So, so I'm going to have each panelist kind of start out and just give us a little information about what do you do in the health and wellness space? You know, wh where's that passion line? What brings you here today to talk about OptUp? Uh, well, the name of my business is The Produce Moms. It was founded uh, actually as work for hire. It's kind of interesting how it started. But uh, I, for over 10 years, I sold fresh produce to over 300 grocery stores in the United States. Uh, Kroger was obviously my favorite account, and uh, <laughs> and it was under that work for hire where we started the Produce Mom. It was singular at the time as just a basic WordPress blog. Three years ago, I bought it, uh, changed the mission statement uh, to changing the way America eats by increasing the consumption of fresh produce, mm -hmm. specifically among children, and everything we do feeds that. So it's media and education. It's a community-based brand. It's all about increasing fresh produce here in the United States and a ton of strategies, obviously, to connect with children and mothers. Wonderful. Thank you, Lori. Good morning. How are you all? I'm Susie Monfort. I'm president of QFC. Really, really proud to have the opportunity to run one of the Kroger banners. I've uh, been with the company for about a year. And, you know, Allison, I'm, I'm here, as, as you know, after spending a career working in, uh, in the United States and in Australia and the U.K. in the supermarket industry but also a lot in nascent uh, health and fitness and tech and was really thrilled to have the opportunity to join the Kroger team, really, I think, to be here today, to be part of going along this journey and certainly being part of the vision that Colleen and Chance have, have yeah. shared with all of us. And, um, you know, I think, listen, you know, the world needs us now. Our communities need us. Um, the United States needs us. We have the power to catalyze community health, starting with each other, and your presentation was spot on. We are uniquely positioned at Kroger and all of our companies coast to coast in the United States to leverage the data and move into the territory of what I like to say is fitness is health happening. And with Opt Up and the massive platform, uh, we're going to be pioneering the future of health. So that's why I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Debbie Matinopoulos. I could not agree with more, more with what you're saying or what Chance or Allison has said. It's 100% the truth. And you said, listen, we didn't invent medicine is thy food, mm -hmm. food is thy medicine. Hippocrates did. I'm Greek, so therefore my people did. That's why I am here. <laughs> so, you know, I, I'll own that for everybody. But truthfully, I wrote a book called It's All Greek to Me. Um, and this book was basically all of my family's recipes that are between 100 and 200 years old. I went back to Greece and I got all of their recipes and I put them in a book. And the reason I wrote this book, the reason it was so important to me is because I grew up eating a very Mediterranean-based diet. It had very healthy fats, it had fibers, it had proteins, it had everything that, that we basically, you know, like whole foods from this planet. Mm -hmm. I moved to New York to start my career in television and within two months ended up gaining like 15 pounds mm -hmm. because I was just eating what was there. Yeah, pizza, this and that. I was consuming less calories and gaining weight. I could not understand what was going on. I went home and my mom said, you see, you listen to your mommy. You're going to be beautiful and thin. But, ah. but it, was, it was because it were the choices I had and I didn't know mm -hmm. any better. So mm -hmm. I had to re-educate myself. And through my re-education, I felt like, you know what? This is, it's very basic. And if we give people the tools and we allow them the information and we, we can get this information to to the most amount of people as possible, then we can help them make the change. Mm -hmm. People want to be healthy. They do. I just think there's so many, so much different information out there right now that's so confusing to them that they don't really know what to do. And that's why this Kroger Opt Up app is so important. You make it easy. Mm -hmm. um, Kroger is the, correct me if I'm wrong, the, the largest grocery store in America mm -hmm. and the world. And if it's not the world, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> 
sounds good. But yeah, right? <laughs> so if you can't reach the people, then you're never going to be able to make a change. And this okay. is doing that. It's giving them information. It's putting the power in their own hands to make their own decision. Mm -hmm. And it's super important to do this. I mean, if we want a healthier America, we have to give people the option to be healthy and give them the knowledge. And just like you, Allison, I have a young daughter as well. And it was always important to me, but the minute I got pregnant, it became 150 times more important. Mm -hmm. I know you know that. Mm -hmm. Where I'd say, oh, so what? I'll eat this. But then when I knew I was growing something, I thought, no, I, my child can't make this decision. Mm -hmm. So I have to make the decision for my child. Mm -hmm. And I became even more um, sort of, like you said, a little bit anal about reading the back of <laughs> Oh, this, 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 mm -hmm. you know. So mm -hmm. I want to be able to make the choices for my daughter now so that she can make better choices growing up. Because I think when we were growing up, we didn't have these sort of choices. Right. You know, it was what was at the lunchroom and you just right. ate it. It was like pizza or sloppy joe. What's the better option? Roll-ups. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We That's were not a fruit? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we were all there. So I'm really honored and, and um, really excited about being part of this Opt Up app because I truly believe, I mean, there are a lot of, op, of apps out there now, but I truly believe this is groundbreaking. This will change the way that people eat, and it will lead to a healthier America because you're going to reach the, the most amount of people as mm -hmm. possible. Thank you. So thank you for letting me be part of it. Thank you, Debbie. Good morning, everyone. I'm Rolk. Uh, I'm very uh, honored to be on stage with these amazing women. Um, as you, I met some of you on during the last few days. I'm the quiet one. I don't speak much, a very much an introvert. <laughs> As you guys know, but you've probably heard me laughing. I laugh a lot. But uh, I'm most well known for, I train a lot of the first responders. Uh, I know, I train all the SEAL teams, uh, the Marine Raiders, Army Rangers. Uh, I train most of the firefighters on the western side of the US. So I train firefighters and first responders throughout the country. Um, and for my training, it's always about keeping things simple. Um, uh, my foundational training curriculum is all body weight movements, so I don't use a lot of weights. Uh, it's a lot of sensory processing stuff. Um, but when I, I was approached by uh, Kroger and OptUp, OptUp is amazing because <laughs> watching uh, my my fellow fi like firefighters or Ringa in in the grocery store, no one knows how to shop. It's it's pretty hilarious. So uh, these guys, you know, first responders. I mean, that's what we rely on. I mean, these guys protect and save lives constantly. So their nutrition is so important, uh, and most of them go straight to you know the cookie aisle. So or the cake out, they don't know what to do and how mm -hmm. to shop. And it's, they're very macho, so they don't want to ask. It's just like most men, they don't like to ask for directions. <laughs> they don't like to ask how to shop. So it's very easy to look on the opt-up and personally understand how to shop and how to um, eat healthier, et cetera. And um, so I'm very excited about that. I think for us, is it, the opt-up is such a, a simplified platform um, for so many people. Um, and I've seen my, like my fitness curriculum is something that's, it's gone well because of how sim simple it is. Um, so it's a great pairing. I'm super excited to be a part of this. So. Awesome. Thank Thanks, you so guys. much. And, um, so, so let's start off with guys. So you guys work with so many different groups. You know, you're obviously working with clients, you're working with media folks, you're working with people in our divisions and then schools and, and other people. So when it comes to personalization, which we talked about, how important is personalization when you're trying to help someone with their nutrition or fitness? I'm happy to jump in. I um, Look, I'm a certified health coach, which means I know enough to know what I don't know. And we are all bio-individual. And, you know, you sort of mentioned it. There is a, a spate of information out there, but folks still wake up every day and they go, oh, just simplify it for me. One day I should have dairy. It's going to save my life. The next day it's going to kill me. So people just, uh, they, yeah, I'm out. And we don't want them to opt out. We want them to opt up. So <laughs> it's all about the data. Um, and learning, we got to learn what works well for us. And I know you focus a lot on that. Yes. Look, I mean, it's, you know, um, and I think you talked a little bit about it with the Mediterranean diet and certainly a, a plant-based diet. We need to learn what fuels us. I know a lot of elite athletes who are vegans. Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily work for me. Right. I need to, I particularly right. need more heavy, heavier proteins, that sort of thing. So, you know, I know what y'all's thoughts are on that. But. 100%. Everybody's different. Yeah. And I think that's why this is so important because it customizes it to the person. Mm -hmm. What is going to work for me is not going to work for probably anybody else in here. We're, we don't all have the same DNA, and that's important right. to understand that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I do a television show called Home and Family on Hallmark Channel five days a week, two hours a day, and I do a lot of cooking on that show. And I feel very responsible. You know, listen, I don't make the right choice every single day either. And what is really the right choice? I don't think, you know, 
like saying, oh, don't eat this ice cream because for the rest of your life, because it's bad for I don't agree with that. I think, right, thank you, whether you're depressed or happy, <laughs> chance that eat it. Cream. Yeah. So I think everything in moderation, and I feel a huge obligation to my viewer to, you know, say, okay, so what? We're making this full-fat cheesecake. It's delicious. Just don't eat it every single day. Right. That's okay. Have a little bit. And then tomorrow I'm going to make something that's plant-based. But I, I feel like giving them the options and letting them know this is right for me. It might not be right for you. Mm -hmm. Listen to your body. It's very important to just, when you put something in your body, listen to it for a second. If you don't feel so good, maybe that's not the best thing for you. A lot of people, beans are great for them. Mm -hmm. Beans are not so great for other people. Mm -hmm. Nuts are great for some people. Not mm -hmm. so great for other people. Both of them have, you know, fiber and have, have good fats, but mm -hmm. it doesn't mean it always works for everyone. Right. And that's why Opt Up is so wonderful. Right. Absolutely. I agree. I totally agree. That personalization is so important with everything. I mean, in the fitness community, uh, whether we're training first responders, you know, housewife, Olympic athletes, it's all about personalizing. Mm -hmm. So um, with shopping, it should be the same way. Mm -hmm. And I think you have that, you, it's less intimidating that you can inter interface with your own app, just mm -hmm. you and the app, because mm -hmm. no one wants to be wrong. You know, you go into a right. situation, you don't want to buy the wrong, you don't want to ask, no one wants to ask because they don't want to feel dumb. They don't want to feel stupid, but being able to get that interface and those analytics immediately put into the app mm -hmm. that you can see it and you can see how you're shopping. And if something's not working, you can change it. Mm -hmm. And there's options that are telling you how to change it. That's the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. People want to change sometimes, right. but there's not really anything telling them how to change. Right. That's why the recommendations on this is how you eat healthier is so important. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm cooking a lasagna dish, I don't know what I can make a healthy lasagna dish. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have to go get a new recipe. Right. right. But if I know that I can use it, you know, instead of uh, beef, I can use lean ground turkey and right. all these things, that helps. You know, those are things that help me kind of teach myself right. uh, how to eat healthier. And if you do want the help, mm -hmm. The dietitians that you guys have on staff is brilliant. That is so brilliant. Because again, a lot of people want to be healthy, but they say, I can't be healthy. That's for rich people. Mm. How can I get that? Only rich people can afford to be healthy and eat right. organic and this and that. You were saying, no, that's not true at right. all. And we're going to show you how. Mm -hmm. So that is, that's one of the things that I'm super excited about with this app. That's awesome. And, and I love the point Rocky made around like, some people just don't don't want to go out and ask for help. It, right. You know, they, they don't even want to admit, you know, what they don't know. Right. Now, Laura, you guys work on a lot of content for, you know, different groups. Talk about how you help people kind of propel themselves forward on that journey of health. Well, the biggest thing we promote is all produce is good for you. And so when I had that first experience with OptUp, opening up that app myself, the thing that really uh, warmed my heart the most is that, you know, this this whole app is basically... Um, the concept of shifting mm -hmm. is where the magic happens with OptUp. That's how you get that 13% that you were talking about with right. new behaviors. Um, and, you know, it is important to note that when it comes to fruits and vegetables, there are no shifts that are recommended. All fruits and vegetables score in the green category. And so that's obviously, mm -hmm. um, we're very proud of mm -hmm. OptUp uh, at the Produce Moms, as well as, you know, speaking on behalf of the entire produce industry. I will also say that right now in the United States, there are, there are three key recommendations mm -hmm. that are happening for the 2020 Dietary Guidelines for Americans. The first is to promote the under-consumed vegetable subcategories, which are your dark greens, your red and oranges, as well as your legumes, your plant-based proteins. The second is the consumption of more whole fruits mm -hmm. as opposed to processed forms mm -hmm. of fruits. Um, so choosing whole pineapple as opposed to pineapple juice. That's what a whole fruit is. And then lastly is the concept of shifting. And it's where the federal government, with the work that they do with schools and children specifically, is spending a huge amount of their team nutrition and ag marketing service dollars is to promote this concept of shifting. And that is what OptUp is. It, is. it is meeting people where they're at. It's recognizing, hey, we know you want to eat pasta tonight. And we're going to make a suggestion for a sauce on top of that pasta that is more you know, plant-based like a marinara sauce instead mm -hmm. of a cream sauce, or we're going to recommend a whole grain pasta right. that scores better in the app. And so that is what I feel is sustainability and nutrition. Mm -hmm. is it's, it's how people are going to make those wellness goals. It's why you're seeing a 13% success. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know too many other mm -hmm. wellness apps. I mean, a lot of them come our way at the mm -hmm. Produce Moms, as you can imagine, and I don't know of too many others that have that kind of proven success. Mm -hmm. You know, Allison, I think it's a paradigm shift. It's a perception. I mean, that perception you're talking about that, you know, like you mentioned, uh, eating healthy is expensive. Eating healthy is difficult. Shopping healthy is difficult, right? Every, it's just been 
kind of drilled into us. So mm -hmm. the ability to kind of break down those walls mm -hmm. for people to understand it's very seamless, it's easy, it's personalized. Mm -hmm. You actually can save money at times right. eating healthy. It's it's really revolutionary. So it's a great point. And, and you know, we didn't call this out specifically, but one of the things about Opt Up that's really cool is that you actually can see prices. When you're seeing alternatives, you're gonna see prices that align with you know your division of Kroger, uh, wherever you are. And you know, to be honest, it wasn't something when we launched the app I, I spent a ton of time thinking about, but our awesome data team was like, we need this. But then after we launched, it was amazing the comments, you know, people make those comparisons. They're very savvy, and they wanna see if that recommendation is gonna cost yes. more. And many times it does not. And yes. so it, it helps to really reinforce, yes. Yes. reinforce that. Talk to me about some of the other barriers in your work that you see from people taking that step from education to action. Yeah, I was going to say, just a, kind of carrying on this, this similar theme and to answer your question, I think what OptUp also does with regard to bringing the value is it supercharges the ROI, your return on investment of making the effort to learn a bit. And with, with the conversation the last couple of moments just sort of got me reflecting a little bit. We tend to, if you're meeting people and you're working to get them in from a deconditioned state to a healthier state, you sort of work them along. And generally, a lot of times, part of that is keeping a food journal. Mm -hmm. Well, that is historically writing down what I already ate, potentially memorializing my really bad decision. <laughs> like, why do I want to do it? But with Opt Up, I can make, exactly. So why do I want to take note of what I already did that got me, you know? So how about I spend a tiny bit more time and effort mm -hmm planning in advance and making really great decisions at the point of shelf, having a little Allison in my pocket, which is a mobile app, <laughs> helping me make good decisions. Um, and so th to me, that's the first really critical step on the journey of getting folks up and activated and moving. Yeah, great. And you know what I also like? The fact that the app says, okay, so you put in Ritz crackers and it says, well, you know what? Why don't you try these goldfish instead? Okay, no one's saying goldfish is like the healthiest thing on the planet. <laughs> right. But it's but I like that because it's saying, all right, so maybe this is a little healthier. It's mm -hmm. one tiny step in the right, right direction. One little step in the right direction every single day will help people change their habits. That's right. To change a habit, it's so difficult, you guys. We do testing for television all the time. It takes the average television viewer seven years to change their habit of watching something. Wow. That's why The Price is Right is still like the number one yeah. show. <laughs> True story. We, I swear to you, we do all this research. Love so it. imagine what it's going to take them to change what goes into their mouth every day. They eat a lot more than they do watch TV. I think mean, Rolk should just be there and smack it out of their <laughs> Put that down. It's a difficult <laughs> thing. But if you make app. Opt Up is saying, make small changes. You're not saying right. you're a carnivore. Oh, well, tomorrow you have to be vegan. Or right. that's, you're not making anyone feel bad. You're not telling them what they have to do, mm -hmm. which is exactly what people don't want to hear. The minute you say to someone, well, this is what you have to do, the guard goes like this. Mm -hmm. Say, well, you know, what about this? Have them make the choice. Put the power in their hands so they feel motivated to do it and they feel empowered. You know, I think what Susie was saying as far as journaling is so important because anytime we start a fitness journey or a health and wellness journey, the first thing you do is you start to assess what you're eating. Mm -hmm. What do I eat? How active am I? Because then the professional can look at it and say, okay, this is how well, this is what you're doing incorrectly. This is what you need to do here, fitness-wise as well. But with OptUp, you can have that immediate interface, that mm -hmm. immediate feedback, mm -hmm. which usually you have to log it for three to four days, and then you have to you know, right. present it, and then you have to assess it. But with this is literally immediately when I'm picking something up mm -hmm. or a scan, they're telling, no, you can do this, this, yeah. and this. And that's great because it cuts yeah. that time yeah. from when you actually are eating something or shopping something or buying and then you can change your habits that we talked about as well. So I think it's, it's powerful. You were talking this morning, I just went real quick about a little bit about gamification mm -hmm. in the app. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit of that sense of I get immediate reward if I choose this, not that. Right. I'm a little bit less red and way more green, right? right? So I think that's a really awesome, positive high five. And I totally hook. agree. I think that it, not only the gamification, but the incentive, incentivizing it. And not only incentivizing it with, through, you know, buying and getting discounts, et cetera, yeah. but eating healthier and seeing that, wow, my score is going up mm -hmm. and getting that reinforcement that this is actually helping me, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. People want to see that, okay, yeah. if I'm going to actually put that down, put the cookies down and get the fruit that I'm actually, the score goes up. People want to right. see that immediate, That's wow, right. okay, I, I did right. something right. I did something right, right here That's and I right. moved forward. And that reinforcement over time, like we talked about, will change the habits yeah. of people. And that's powerful, mm -hmm. extremely yeah. powerful. We, we hear from our users at like kind of that first moment of truth where they, you know, they first see that opt-up score 
Um, and it's like, oh, I didn't know. And that could be kind of like pleasantly surprised, like that positive reinforcement, or not so pleasantly surprised. Um, we've seen some, some, the range, but, but it, it's cool to like that initial moment of just, just giving someone that piece of information. Um, it's, it's really powerful and, and it can, it can go, you know, so far to carry them that first step. So, so we believe there's power there. So switching gears just a little bit, we talked about the, the elements and we have um, some great fitness expertise on this panel of taking in fitness and incorporating that piece. Why is it important that we move in that direction with Up? I think it's all about, is, every, one, hand, one hand feeds the other. It's, it's one of those mm -hmm. things that one hand goes with the other, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're eating healthy, it's all about exercise and you want to have you know a very healthy you know, movement, movement strategy going mm -hmm. forward. So... Um, I think that's for me because we focus so much on exercise and getting people to move again. My curriculum is all about keeping it simple, right? Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Just move. Um, that's why my foundational curriculum doesn't have any weights. You don't need to use weights, just body movement, mobility, getting your body to move. It's the same thing with, with shopping. It's the same thing with eating mm -hmm. is that we always look at the excuse of, oh, it's too complicated. It's too hard, mm -hmm. right? So it's, we're adverse to it. So we move in another direction. So the ability to break down those barriers and keep it very simple, keep it short, like even with my, the fitness curriculum is to keep it very short, mm -hmm. you know, it works. They yeah. see the results, but they move better, they're more functional. And even though I work with elite athletes and I work with elite military and all the first responders, I, there's a lot of people that we, I just want to help people that help play with their kids. You know, some people yeah. don't want to go fight fires and, you know, do all these, they just want to be able to go out with their husband and wife and be active and ride a bike or go for a walk where they can't before, right? right. So. Um, the thing I love about the app, that technology just allows people to have that, that sense of intimacy with mm -hmm. their own choices, mm -hmm. right? Where they don't have to even share it with a trainer. Some people don't want to go and share with a dietitian mm -hmm. or nutritionist. They just don't, it's just not comfortable, mm -hmm. right? And so I think that's one of the things that, that uh, is amazing about OptUp is the ability to now pair fitness, if we're, you know, as we're going forward, mm -hmm. I was talking to Colleen about it last night is, Moving in that direction of now, do we take it to the next step? Now teaching people how, what are you doing? How active are you, right? right? Did you, how active were you to, to pair with what you're, what you're shopping, what mm -hmm. you're eating? So. Um, a lot of the viewers of, of my show are stay-at-home moms. So yeah. we cater towards what they like, what they're going to be shopping for, the mm -hmm. sort of exercise. Everybody, anyone here who has children knows that it's the hardest job on the planet to be a mother, 100%, and be a working mom is, is equally as difficult, if not more. So, you know, people say, oh, she's just a stay-at-home mom. I'm like, are you kidding? It's way harder to be a stay-at-home mom than it is to be a CEO. Your coworkers are vomiting on you all day. <laughs> I mean, come on. So, <laughs> so we gear a lot of our exercise right. segments that we do on the show towards exactly. stay-at-home moms. Okay, I don't, I'm not going to ask you to do an hour and a half of yoga because you don't have the time. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of things you have to do. Mm -hmm. Take the steps. Don't mm -hmm. take the elevator. You know, walk a mile to, to, to get the kid from school, and, you know, with the stroller as opposed to driving your car. And we also do a lot of things around the house, like you said, without weights. Like, right. do you have um, a two gallon of, of laundry detergent? Grab two of them, and we're going to do things like this. You know what I mean? But things that are super right. simple that people say, oh, I don't need a bunch of fancy equipment. I don't need a gym. I don't need, mm -hmm. I just need to move mm -hmm. and just get up off the couch. Mm -hmm. right. You know, so, or even vacuuming. That burns 150 calories in 20 minutes, I think. I feel, I feel way better about vacuuming now. <laughs> Washing dishes. So for a workout routine. Vacuum in your bathing suit in front of a mirror and you'll get really, uh, really inspired. And now I feel worse again. Thank you. No. <laughs> Breaking us back down. No, I was, you know, um, I think I've said it a few times, I mean, fitness is health happening. It's activating that, right? So how do we get people to take the leap? I mean, I'm just looking around for a moment. These couches, for, here, here's, a, here's a quick example I've used in the past. A squat. It's a massive body weight exercise that engages the biggest muscles that we've got. These couches are perfect for practicing that because there's no arms on these couches. So when you guys stand up and out, your weight's back in your heels, you're going to brace your core and your abs, and you're going you're gonna to shoot straight up. That's just a squat. So, you know, if we don't involve fitness, um, look, our diet is 75, 80% of our health. But if you don't stay strong and flexible and you're not functional, then by the time you have time to go on holiday and tour, you're not going to be able to get off the tour bus. So you've got to use your body for it to be able to, to work the way it was intended. Right. So we've got, when we add fitness into this, then we have the complete ecosystem and we'll be motivating folks and showing them how to live a healthy lifestyle. Right. You know, when you're healthy, you don't think about it. 
When nothing hurts, you don't think about it until something happens. You go, oh my gosh, I'm getting older. Oh gosh, this didn't used to happen like this. And that's super important because, you know, at a certain age, it's okay, whatever. But you get to a certain age and then if you had not worked your muscles, then your muscles aren't going to work for you. And then you're going to be bedridden and there goes our healthcare system again. That's right. I think a lot of people, like when you get into fitness programs, people just are so focused on aesthetics, right? I want to train to look good, right? But what does, what looks good? Everyone's different. Right. So it's all about those small small improvements and just those small steps. And, and that's what I, I preach all the time when I'm mm-hmm. talking. And I work with a, a lot of uh, like moms, which moms are amazing, <laughs> amazing women. They sacrifice so much mm-hmm. going through the entire process. And, and um, you know, they don't, they're not looking to get in a bikini the next day. They just want to be strong. They want to be yeah. fit. They want to feel confident. And that confidence comes from, you know, not only how they eat and how they exercise, but how they're showing an example to their kids mm. and how they're shopping for their families. And yeah. those are things that, I think talking to Colleen and Susie, what Kroger is all about, and yeah. that's so amazing. And I'm so proud to be a part of a company that wants to make those type of changes in yeah. America. It's it's crazy, and and uh, yeah, we're just getting started. That's, so that's right. That's absolutely right. I think too, it's really important that um, you know, I mean, to maintain that 600 and above mm-hmm. opt up score, it does take discipline. Mm-hmm. And uh, similarly, you know, to have a a lifestyle that includes a lot of movement takes discipline and they work hand in hand. Mm -hmm. If you're working really hard on maintaining, you know, that high opt up score and seeing that arrow and, you know, pointing up with the green um, and buying a lot of those green category foods from your produce department, uh, you want, you're going to want to maintain that full holistic approach and and make sure that you are moving because it it takes so much work Mm -hmm. to choose the right foods. Right. And so it, I think that, too, um, I think that is a really important point yeah. to, uh, you know, showcase here to the journalists is that the the whole opt-up journey, it simplifies the whole process. And it, that gamification component, that's just as much feeding the human spirit. We're naturally competitive Absolutely. people, that's right? That's right. Yes. Yeah. And, yeah. and so the last thing we're going to want to do is... Um, you know, sabotage that hard work and discipline right. with what we're putting into our bodies by not right. by not staying active and moving. Absolutely. Yeah. So to switch back a little bit to to our nutrition rating uh, concept, and and this will be how we wrap up our panel today. So get excited. <laughs> is we have one to a hundred nutrition ratings for foods. So I'm going to ask each of our Glory knows this question already. I'm going to ask each of our panelists to give yourself a nutrition rating one to a hundred. And why? And starting with Rob. Wait, my nutrition rate of how yes. I Yes, eat? you're first because oh, you were in the bathroom when we were trying <laughs> to get I better have 100. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to go 85. Okay. Oh. See, I'm 85. That's 85. Good. 85. <laughs> I feel like I'm not going to auction 85, 86, 87, 88, 88, 88, 88, 88, 85. All right. And what? Price is right again. This is like Price is Right. This all ties back into the Price is Right. This is a showcase showdown, baby. This is a showcase showdown. I can tell this question's freaking you out, so we're going to go to Debbie. (laughs) Debbie. I think, well, gosh, now that he said 85 and he's a trainer and trains like our special forces, maybe I'm lower than I thought. I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say 75, 70. And and I don't feel bad about it. You right. know, I'm not going to feel bad about eating a donut. If right. I want to eat a donut, I want to eat. Life is hard. I can have a donut. <laughs> what is the big deal? Just don't eat the whole box. I'll have a donut with you. Thank you. Okay. So, and I don't want to be judged for eating my donut. Thank you. But, you know, I, I, some days are better than others, just right. like with anything in life. You know, you just, some days you're the windshield. Other days you're the mosquito on the windshield. It just, and, and, and I'm okay with it. And if okay. I, but being at 70 or 75, makes me feel like, okay, I can get better and I can improve. And some days I'll slip to 65 and that's okay because I'm going to wake up tomorrow, pull myself up and try it again. And Absolutely. as long as I can be a good example to my daughter and to the next generation of kids that are coming up so yeah. they can look at us and say, oh, this is what the, our, our people before us built. Mm. So they've given us the opportunity to be healthier. Love it. Fantastic. Well, I know my opt-up score, but you're not asking that. No, oh I Oh my know. God. It's the real one. <laughs> Well, I could tell you, but uh, um, <laughs> is it better than ours? <laughs> well, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. No, I, you know, okay. If you're 85, I'll say I'm 84.5. No, oh, oh, no. no you, do you know what? I, I look. You made a really great point. Once you, you know, once you've got it, you try really hard not to lose it. So the nutritional aspect, I, I think, 
you know, I really work to make the majority of the week, not all the time, uh, purposeful decisions. So I do that by planning ahead mm -hmm. because once we're hangry, man, it's just like get out of my way and yeah, the whole donut box or whatever, but sweet potato chips. Oh my gosh. The food should taste good brand of sweet potato chips. They're really great. That's the, like the worst thing on my dang opt up score. So I would say that, but look, my, my view is. The nutrition panel is going from donuts to sweet potato chips. Oh my yeah. gosh. No, they are. It's that sweet salty. It's yeah. really, oh man, with the margarita. Um, so, no, seriously. So, I try, look, I just try to eat well mo most of the time. But if I want chips and guac and a margarita, I am originally Texan. Thank you. But I'm going to have that. If I want pizza, no worries. And you just do that. And you can't be overly obsessed. But I do try to eat good, clean, whole food, real food. Tons and tons and tons of plants and veg. So, yeah, that's, that's my goal. So, I am below you, I'm sure, in all things. But that's, I'll put myself somewhere in the territory. <laughs> You know, I should know my answer to this question. We just had this question at Wellness yes. Away Festival, mm -hmm. and uh, I will say this this panel is uh, a lot more realistic, in my opinion, to how I live, at least. I was on the panel with, like, Tony Horton <laughs> and John Bauer oh, Tony. and you Mark don't Sisson, have to and so Tony. I was like, they're all, like, 98, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, you am I going to be honest? Say? Tony will like, literally look at you and go, are you really going to eat that? Oh, yeah, I know. So I sat he's backstage a bit of a with him before the panel, yeah. and I was like... Leave me alone. He's a yeah. bit of a shamer, yes. that Tony. Uh, I liked him. Love him. No, he was, he's oh, very inspirational. But I, I would say I'm probably 70 to 75. And I'm going to say the same thing I said at Wellness Your Way, because I think it's so important to... Um, and I think Kroger really believes this in everything that they do. Food is culture. It's how we celebrate life. And I think that that comes to life in the app. You know, they're not saying 100% of your product should be, you know, fruits and vegetables. We don't even say that at the produce moms, you know? So uh, I, I do think it's important to say, yes, you know, I, I eat cheese and I buy cake That's and, right. you know, um, and Allison and I both enjoyed our desserts last night yes, after dinner. Did. They were phenomenal. But, um, but yeah, I, I mean, I feel better and I enjoy life and I celebrate it more wholly and more, you know, holistically and more present when I eat right and when I feel better. So, and that's another thing that was really cool about Wellness Your Way Festival. For those of you that weren't aware of that, Kroger actually celebrated the complete wellness, what your, you know, your physical activity, your nutrition, medicine, and then also your mental health. And I think that they are totally circular. Wonderful. Yes. You know, Allison, awesome. one of the things you just said is balanced, right? Yes. We talked about that before. Yeah. So I think all of us being realistic with our scores, it's it's just about balance. We're exactly. Not, I think opt up isn't saying you have to eat no. just only healthy no. all the time. It's not about that, right? There's that whole pie scale mm -hmm. about just make sure that you're portioned out correctly and then you're eating balanced because yeah. that's real life. It's, this know? is real life, people. Yeah, real, life. real life. Well, thank you to our real life panel. Thank you so much, you guys. Awesome job. Thank you. Thank you.